Do you all hear these vocals? We got grime first look. Listen to the music on this, the orchestra in the background. This is our very first look at Grime. Brand new Metroidvania, I think this is. Like, if you want to really categorize it as anything at all. But we play a lot of cool games, and I think this is one that's going to be like a top contender. And besides the audio, the visuals are fantastic. They had 4K resolution and stuff. Look at this. It's kind of gross, but also kind of legit. The anti-alias, the tessellation. I think we're playing on Ultra right now. Maybe. Oh, the kiss of life. I thought it was going to be the kiss of death. Well, wherever they're both going, I don't know if there's going to be life or death. Grime. Ooh, this is kind of gross. It was like pulsing for a little bit. Yo, it's like poetry emotion right here. It's like actually <laughs> fairly well made. Getting goosebumps just watching. Is that the black hole? Oh yeah, this is the main character, I think. Born from nothing. A single black hole <laughs> on a rock body. All right, so as we get started with this, big thanks to Akupara Games for providing the key for this. We have a nice little uh, crawl session with credits as well. Ooh, what happened? Oh, I got my leg. I kind of like the idea of the creature you play to be like kind of bad. Like, potentially nasty, potentially evil. We don't know the whole story yet. All we know is that I have a black hole as a head. If we get to run around maps. Maybe we're going to suck stuff up. Maybe we're going to shoot stuff out. All right. Look at the world in the background. The caves, everything's drawn out. Dash, you can dash through creatures and you can backstep. It's kind of gross. <laughs> All right, so that might be like the name of the game is oh, that's kind of gross. Absorb, press RB the moment an enemy attack lands, an appetizer before the coming feast. So it's a counter. All right, I already screwed it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I actually think... Oh, it's not R2. It's, uh... <laughs> it's R1. So I'm still used to a PS controller. Um, I'm using the X-Bone right now. I have no idea. My head is all. How to play with an Xbox controller. Still learning. It seems pretty lenient, to be honest. All right, we got friend. Oh, wow. Wait, that actually did damage to me. New prey found. Can't absorb it. So I was going to say that, um, little surprise that there's fall damage. 
in what I would soon to be a Metroidvania, but this is possibly a Souls-like. We don't have, you know, the most friendly of gameplay. We want the character to suffer. Absorbing an enemy steals their breath. Press R2 to convert a full breath meter into health. An instrument should be cared for. Mend the vessel with a sacrifice of prey. So that's a pretty cool system. If you get the absorb, which is kind of like a counter, you'll be able to heal yourself off that. Uh, there's a lot of cool games out there where like your healing isn't just a health pot. You actually have to play the game to heal yourself. Weeping Cavity, Sky, Spurrer, Breaker, Agitator of B. It's a rock. <laughs> They're worshiping the rock. I mean, <laughs> my character does not care. It doesn't give two craps about anything. Grow? Oh, we can level up inside of the rock. Uh, we can get health. Uh, force. Letting you perform more actions before running out of force. So I guess that's like stamina. Uh, strength. Strength scaling weapons. Deck scaling weapons. And resonant scaling weapons. And traits. Interesting. Um, let us start off with a point of health. Lock it in. I want to say that's all the money we have. Wow, okay. So I was thinking this was just Metroidvania. But there's definitely some other aspects here. Level on dust. Surrogate. An implemented level lamb becomes your checkpoint and surrogate. Whenever you are shattered, you will reform at the last created surrogate. As you reform, so will most prey. Use their mass to develop your vessel. A shard of the womb you once inhabited. It can now be used as such again. Yeah, so that's our checkpoint. Uh, mass is basically XP, I imagine. Which, if you think about it, like, as a black hole, we want mass. Get another one of these. Nails. Mass is good. Wow. <laughs> so that was a crawler. Another new enemy. This is a really cool system. So obviously you figure... You blocking this? Unformed finger. You figure that, okay. You know, run, jump, slash, climb. That's the game. Dot .exe. But, ow. It actually doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> like, it's just pushing me away. That's almost worse. Naughty. Get away, you uglies. You. Gasp. Beautiful perfection. Ah, forgive me. For a moment, I thought you were one of my misshapen and disgusting brethren. But no, no, you're not like them at all. Your proportions are sublime. Wow. Checking out the bod right now. Ooh, flawless one. Please, let me serve. I can be of use to you. I promise. I will. I will look for anything that can be of use to you. Yes. I'll find you again with a gift worthy of your divine attention. <laughs> All right. It's kind of cool. The <laughs> perfect being. Ultimate specimen. Oh, that actually did damage to me. 
So, yeah, some of the stuff is just pushing me away. That one, for the first time, actually tried to hit me. And, I mean, it got it successfully. Good for you. Won't happen again. Alright, I have lots of fingers. I still don't see them in my inventory. We have new prey, though. Absorb progress. I wonder what that is. Might be able to unlock some new uh, stuff. Oh, here we go. It's a consumable. Can be used to return to the most recently created surrogate. So it's a, uh, a warp. We have nails, which are... They're fingernails. I thought these were going to be like carpentry nails. A sharp nail with the fingertip formed at the end can be thrown at mildly annoying foes. Um, and then consume to gain mass. So we get some bonus XP that way. Oh, there we go. Prey hunt complete. All right. So what does it mean to complete a prey? Grow to gain. Restores total force on a successful absorb or repel. Grow to gain. May we need more mass? Okay, before we go up, I want to check out this uh, southern area right here. This looks like something. I can't break it with a single, like, sharp nail. Oh, we opened up a shortcut. That's pretty nice. It's probably the best thing about... Metroidvania, Soulsborne, all of that stuff. Is when you find an actual shortcut. I know, I know. Jump down. Gasp! Flawless one. I may have found a gift worthy of you. The glorious cavern used these stick things to more easily crush their disgusting lesser into useful materials. It's a rock, right? A maul axe. Uh, open my inventory. Select it. One of the many varied ways to crush prey. <laughs> it looks like somebody's hand. Uh, it is. A still hand uprooted from the ground and turned into a weapon. Wow, look at that. It's like all zero scaling, so it doesn't do anything particularly useful. Is it L1 to attack? No, it's just square. Uh oh. <laughs> I was pretty sure that was like a friendly. But I think when you're a floating black... Well, not really floating. You're a walking black hole. We gotta absorb this. Can't absorb it because it's not swinging at me, I guess. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's heal up. I right, remember the button. Oh, maybe I don't have a full bar yet. Ah, oh, crap, I can't break this. Never mind. I just pressed the wrong button. So we finally have a weapon. We can bust up pretty much everything. I don't know if we get like a ton of mass. Triangle for special. Ooh, we like that. Oh, that's... has a big hand. Okay, I cannot absorb it. Okay, looks like we do have iframes on dodge. There is a little bit of, uh... Skill required, maybe? To land a hit. 
I don't know if I hit it just then. We gotta back it up. Let's, um... Because I don't know how, like, dying is. Let's warp back. And now that we have a weapon, bust up these folks. They're kind of in the way anyway. Oh yeah, look at all this. Give me the nails. Give me everything you got. <laughs> all the money, all the mass in the bag. Okay, so we can grow. We did get this thing. Restores 25% of your total force on a successful absorb or repel. So I think... I don't think I have whatever the currency is to grow. So we can't do that just yet. Let's get ourselves a little more force. Can actually level up one more time. If I use one of these. We're basically eating rocks. Get more health. Because I don't know if I want to go like strength or dex or resonance. I kind of want to leave that. Just in case. Just in case. Now, of course, one of the cool things about these kind of games... Wait. That's an actual path? Oh, wow. I just ruined it. Is that going to come back? <laughs> Wait, hang on. I didn't think that that was going to happen. Not on the... Yeah, we're good, we're good. Ow. I tried to maybe, like, jump and dash. Oh, that's way too far. Alright. That's fine. I know when to call it. So this, I assume, is like a full heal. Yeah. Regrow our body. And let's see if now maybe I have like a path open to me for... Oh god. For the stuff that's ahead. Heal. So yeah, this stuff does really hurt. We gotta get used to the uh, the parry mechanic. I was doing pretty well at first. Unformed hand. This is consumable. Now, as I said, you can't... Oh. You can parry it. I could have sworn I did it at the right time, but I must have done it too early. Or too late. Alright, what do we got? Beacon attuned. A teleport, maybe? Update... Oh, wow. That is a cool-looking map. And it kind of has the secrets, or at least the dead ends identified. It's cool stuff. Okay. All right. Force. Attacking and dashing consumes force. Without force, actions can't be performed. What cannot be moved by will will be moved by force. <laughs> my god. 
And like, I like to believe that I'm, you know, fairly okay at doing parries and stuff like that. But this is a game that's going to test your metal. Or test your rock, rather. Now, I'm already liking what I'm seeing. Red attacks cannot be absorbed. You can dash through instead. We gotta absorb this. Or maybe it won't be red anymore. Nope, still red. All right, you gotta go. Hunt point gained. So I was wondering if there were going to be clear differences between stuff that can be parried and stuff that can't. Grow to gain. Okay, so we have to do that back at base. I'm super excited to see what it is to use grow to gain. Prickly Weeper Chest. It's equipable. Uh, the skin maker saw the potential in what the cavities dead ones could have been. Prickly, yet no less beautiful. Perhaps another one will recognize it as well. Oh, and it actually shows on your character. I really like when games do that. I'm sure it's tough. From like a dev standpoint. But it is a nice feature. Oh my god. Why are these the things I can't parry? <laughs> I love that. That they're just pushing you away. Let's heal. Oh, I don't have enough to heal. But yeah, lots of... Shortcuts. Oh. Okay, I like it. I like it. Volatile eyeball. Yeah, I was going to say the game seems pretty lenient on the parry. Like, the later, the better it feels. Obviously, that can be famous last words. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over here. Wow. Oh my god, it actually interrupts you. Yeah, like, I consider those very late parries. But it seems as though that's okay, for the most part. I can't see. More nails. We didn't actually check if the nails do damage. But yeah, I'm already digging what I'm seeing right now. I like to talk about Metroidvanias because I don't always, you know, do very well in them. But I feel like this scratches a couple of other nice itches. Twin Fangs. So we have a secondary weapon, right? Uh, this is, I guess, a deck scaling weapon. Fangs taken from elsewhere, chiseled and sharpened by a careful artisan. So we can swap weapon. We'll give it a try. All right, some nasties below me. There's a lot of stuff down there, as a matter of fact. Can I throw a nail? Okay. Doesn't seem to target, like, super well. Oh my god! The special uses a lot of stamina, too.
See, like, that's a lot easier than doing that spin attack. Not to say I don't respect it. But that was, like, really, really dangerous on that kind of enemy. Where are we going? This actually split. Secrets? Ow! I was about to say, I just want whatever you have in here. Should I jump? Jumping... Maybe gives me access to a shortcut. Fall damage. We knew there was fall damage. I don't think we lost anything on death, which is pretty good. <laughs> uh, reduce 25% of incoming damage after failing to absorb. Uh, restore 25% of your total force on successful absorb or repel. So that's my stamina. If you get a successful stamina, you get the stuff back. I feel like this makes more sense. Oh, and I I don't even have to equip it. I think it's just there. Right? Yeah, it's almost like just part of the bestiary. And you can use your points to level them up as you see fit. I really like that if that's the case. Okay, how do I... Oh, no. Maybe I do have a dead body. So there's a thing right here. We probably want to kill it. Ooh. Wrong button. So you can absorb those. Oh, that's my body. Now, what do I get back from my body, I wonder? I actually, I don't know. Looks like there's an eyeball on the wall. It's kind of nice. I... Okay, it didn't kill me. But I don't know why the character didn't actually do the dash in the air. I definitely want to go down here. There we go. That's better. Okay, that thing's gonna actually knock me off. That one over there, that one looks like it's hiding something. Maybe it's an NPC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... We were... Wrong. A mistake. My body. It shouldn't look like this. I can feel it. I know it. My thoughts. My words. They come from a dead thing. A cursed breath. Life forced into unwilling dirt. That's evil. Gotta put it out of its misery. Okay, so. I am a black hole. There are other creatures. Maybe the other creatures don't want to be creatures? I mean, I can help them with that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, can you not jump and dash? I don't think you can. Might be something that we get later. But that was why I had failed earlier. You can only dash off the ground. Let me in! This is what? Blood Metal Splinter. We're getting all kinds of cool stuff right now. 
can be worked into weapons by the breathsmith. Unlike level lamb, blood metal can be worked into objects, strengthening them. This is also a game, as you can see, where a lot of the lore is in item descriptions and stuff like that. So if you're a big fan of like collecting everything and then reading the descriptions, it should actually be pretty cool. For like the Hollow Knights, the Dark Souls and all that stuff out there. I um, do I get like super into the lore? Maybe not. I think Hollow Knight I did a little bit more because like the world is so different. Besides like, oh, you're undead in a castle. So this game, for example, I feel like the lore is a lot different because you are, <laughs> you're a black hole in a perfect rock body. And you know, that's a little different. Psst, over here, shimmering one. This wall can't be broken from your side. You can get here through a path from above. Some of them like me. Traits and hunts. Destroy challenging prey to gain their hunt point. Invest hunt points into traits from inside of surrogates. Traits are acquired by absorbing prey using absorb. Um, conquering challenge is at the essence of a hunt. And so are its luscious rewards. Take that. Can I teleport yet? <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay, um... Resonant scaling... Sounds really cool. I just don't want to invest any points in these yet. Is that bad? We'll put one point in strength. I'm sure that's like pretty generic and shouldn't be a problem. Uh, frantic gently pulls on nearby vulnerable surfaces revealing hidden paths that's actually kind of useful if I get a hunt point we'll do that ancient limb I think there's only probably three of those in the world ow So yeah, like I said, the lore for a game like this, I would check out simply because it's like very, very different. Two, three, four. Oh, baby, give me that hand. Okay, so this must be what the thing was talking about. I don't have a way to break that, though. Yeah, way, way down. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, let's heal. Ooh, are there hands on the door? It's kind of gross. Yeah. It almost looks like a person's body upside down. And then hands on the side. <laughs> Kinda gross. Wrong button. Ooh. Can I not absorb this? That's toxic. New prey found. Maybe we have to kill it first before we can absorb it. Maybe. All right. So we can't get up that. Right now, I think we're really aiming for a shortcut. 
Does shortcuts make the world go round? Almost had me. Nice try, nice try. Ooh. The skull cracker. Maybe we are leveling up strength. We got debris field. Now, we haven't even seen a boss yet. I did try to, like, fight that hand straight up, which was obviously incorrect. I'm hearing a lot of noises that I don't like. Glorious anatomical one. I am so disgusted by my disgusting brethren. How dare they attack one such as you. It's not your fault they are misshapen and disgusting. Let's dump this but this pitiful place together. But first, you'll need to get past the biggest ugly of them all. Break through its ugly face. Oh no. Boss time. Weep. Weep. For the form. <laughs> the <laughs> ugly. No. I didn't ask for this. Okay, we got a boss situation. That's the boss? It's a face? <laughs> Rip nose? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, pass through, pass through. Gave me that. Amalgam. I don't know how much of this I can absorb. That I cannot. Ooh. I need to absorb. Alright, nice dodge. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. So, I'm over here thinking that it's... Probably not that bad of a boss. I know I had like no health. Where am I? Again, okay, back at the top one. And we got the shortcut, so that's good. I'm over here thinking it can't be that bad. The first two absorbs it gave me to break the jaw. Like that seemed fine. The rest of the boss has to be easy, right? But then, come to find out, the boss actually does stuff. Oh, you could kind of see inside of it. That one, uh, moment. Oh, wow. We, uh, we in it already. Am I hurting it? There we go. That does big damage, too. Oh, I gotta get my body. Okay, that's worth. Shouldn't have healed, though. So, stamina is, like, super important. I actually thought... Because there is a trait that gives you stamina whenever you absorb. I thought it was going to be useless. But this seems really, really important. Oh, let's go. Great prey crushed pretty gross too everything's just gross <laughs> and what can we possibly get from this ooh just a ton of mass I have 10 of something 
Ardor. Ardor increases the amount of mass gained from defeating foes up to 100%. Ardor is gained by crushing or absorbing prey. Ardor is lost upon taking damage. A stirring appetite, a taste for more. So the better you do in the game, the more the game rewards you, it seems. Yo. That was, <laughs> that was actually kind of fun. We're going to go back. We're going to spin our uh, XP. And then I think we're good. That was my first look of Grime. Grime from Akpala Games. Shouts to them, of course, for supplying the key for this. If this looks like a game that you're interested in, let me know. Let me know if you want to see more of this as well. YouTube comments. Twitch stream. Either one is good for me. Of course, V.me, we play a lot of games, roguelikes, Metroidvanias. This is in our wheelhouse. Love to play this kind of stuff. If you want to see more, like the video, subscribe as well. Either way, you all have a good one. And I'll check you on the next video.